The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the olden door. He had a French cock hat on his forehead, a bunch of lace at his chin, a coat of clarent velvet of, and breeches of brown doe skin. They fitted with never a wrinkle, his boots were up to the thigh, and he rode with a jewelled twinkle, his pistol butts a twinkle, his rapier hilt a twinkle under the jewelled sky. Over the cobbled he clattered and clashed in the darkened yard. He tapped with his whip and shutters, but all was locked and barred. He whistled a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there? But the landlord's black-eyed daughter, Bess the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair. And dark in the dark old inn yard, a stable wicket creaked, where Tim the ostler listened, his face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness, his hair like mouldy hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog he listened, and he heard the robber say, you won't kiss my bonny sweetheart, I'm after a prize tonight, but I shall be back with the yellow gold before the morning light. Yet if they press me sharply and harry me through the day, then look for me by the moonlight, watch for me by the moonlight, I'll come to thee by the moonlight, though hell should bar the way. He rose upright in the stirrups, he scarce could reach her hand, but she loosened her hair at the casement, his face burnt like a brand, as a black cascade of perfume came tumbling over his breast. And he kissed its waves in the moonlight, her sweet black waves in the moonlight. Then he tugged at his rein in the moonlight and galloped away to the west. He did not come in the dawning, he did not come at noon. And out of the tawny sunset, before the rise of the moon, when the road was a gypsy's ribbon, looping the purple moor, a red coat troop, a red coat troop came marching, marching. Marching. King George's men came marching up to the old inn door. They said no word to the landlord. They drank his ale instead. But they gagged his daughter and bound her to the foot of her narrow bed. Two of them out of her casement with men with muskets at their side. There was death at every window, and hell at one dark window, for Bess could see through her hate casement the road that he would ride. They tied her up to her attention with many a sniggering jest. They had bound her musket beside her with a muzzle beneath her breast. Now keep good watch, and they kissed her. She heard the dead man say, Lip for me by the moonlight, watch for me by the moonlight, I'll come to thee by the moonlight, though hell should bar the way. She twisted her hands behind her, but all the knots held good. Though she whistled a tune to her fingers were wet with sweat or blood. She stretched and strained in the darkness, and the hours called by like years, till now on the stroke of midnight, cold on the stroke of midnight, the tip of one finger touched it, the trigger at least was hers. The tip of one finger touched it, she strove mo no more for the rest. Up she should to attention, with a muzzle beneath her breast. She would not risk the hearing, she would not strive again, for the road lay bare in the moonlight, blank and bare in the moonlight, and the blood of her veins in the moonlight fobbed to her lud's refrain. To lot, to lot as he heard it, the ho the horse came riving clear. To lot, to lot in the distance, where they deaf that they did not hear. Down in the ribbon of moonlight, over the brow of the hill, the highway man came riding, 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 riding. The red coat zipped to the priming. She, she stood up straight and stood. To lot, to lot in the frosty steins, to lot, to lot in the echoing night. Nearer he came and nearer, her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment, she drew one dark steep breath then her finger moved in the moonlight her musket shattered in the moonlight shattered her breast in the moonlight and warned him with her death he turned his spur to the west he did not know who stood bowed with her head with a musket drenched in her own red blood not to the dawn he heard it his face grew grey to hear how best the landlord's daughter the landlord's black-eyed daughter had watched her love in the moonlight and died in the darkness there Back he spurred like a madman, shrieking a curse to the sky, with a white horse smoking behind him and his rapier brandished high. Blood red spurs for golden noon, white red was his velvet coat, when they shot him down on a highway, down like a dog on a highway, and he lay in his blood on a highway, with a bunch of lace at his throat. 
It's end of a winter's night, they say, when the wind is in the trees. When the moon is go see galleon, tossed upon cloudy seas. When the road is a ribbon of moonlight, over the purple moor. A highwayman comes riding, riding, riding. A highwayman comes riding, up to the old inn door. Over the cobbles he clatters, and clangs in the darkened yard. And he taps off his whip at the shutters, but all was locked and barred. He whistles a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there? But the landlord's black-eyed daughter, best the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair.